Okay, I'm here with Alex and you want to discuss the options for what goes below the studios. Yeah, so we've got five options. One is we do nothing. We just keep the gap. So you have an air gap and you it, could put plants or planters yeah. in front of that gap. You need the air moving under the building. It has to go under the building. It has to uh, get rid of any moist air and you can't allow, you can't just block it because the, the moisture will come out of the soil, it will condensate, it will go on the timber, it will rot. It'll take a long time, yeah. but it will. But Remember, we give you a 25 year warranty. Yep. So we want air movement under the building. Yep. Second option, build a step. It could go the length of the studio, okay. but, it, but it will, so the gap would be smaller and you will have air movement because there's gaps in the decking. So okay. it, it will allow. So that ticks the box. Third can do a PVC fascia board and as you see it looks nice it needs air vents in it right those, but, those little tiny air vents but the yeah. thing with this is if you're run if this was grass and you're running along with a lawn this will scar and like it, a strimmer say with a strimmer it will Definitely. break yeah it will okay. break right it, so you couldn't afford to go up to that edge with the strimmer if the weeds were growing up there and you went up there with a the strimmer it's gonna break Right. So that's why we've put a block paving in. So the grass would go there. You could strim to the block paving. Uh, so if it's on, on an organic finish of soil or so, uh, grass, I recommend a block paving. People still don't always go for that, but that's their choice. Yep. You could go for this, which is a composite deck. That's really solid. So that's, that looks like the toughest option. It is the toughest option. And you could go into the organic with that, but it would scar if you put a strimmer on it. Right. It's not concrete, it would scar, it's plastic, it would scratch with a strimmer. But not too bad, but again, your choice. If you're coming down to solid ground, tarmac, concrete, block paving, then you can just go with the fascia and end it like that. So that's your five options. And this is the sixth option that we don't recommend. Yeah, we don't recommend, yeah. With PVC, the PVC will rot and it will damage uh, with a strimmer. Right. But if it's a temporary building and you're happy with that, then that's fine. It looks good. Yeah. So as long as they're aware. Yeah. We just want it to be fit for purpose. Yeah. Okay. So let's go back around without the wind because it's so windy today. So can just summarise those five options. We've got the the air gap. Air gap. Yeah. Complete Which, air gap. Complete air gap. That you need <laughs> the step. Yep. The block paving with UPVC cladding. Yep. The composite decking. Yep. The UPVC going down to a hard substrate, be it concrete, tarmac, block paving. Yeah. But it can't go. To, well, it can go down to organic, but that's your choice. If it goes yeah. down to organic, it's a temporary solution that may break, and we we wouldn't guarantee it for more than a year. And if you strimmed it, it would break. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully, that's clarified it for everybody. Yeah. Hopefully. That's brilliant. Thank you.